Hey guys, what is up? This is PepsiDude48 from TwitchTV.com, uh, also known as Redcore. Uh, you're on my channel right now, Redcore Gaming. Um, and I'd like to talk to you guys about using the Aver Media Live HD game uh, capture card with XSplit and, um, and Xbox Live Streaming. Now, if you're a live streamer like me, you probably ran into a few audio problems here and there. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix those problems. The first and most foremost thing that you want to do... Um, if you're changing anything in this menu down here, which is your playback devices, I want you to close out of XBlit. or X -Split. No matter what you're doing, do not run XSplit while you are changing over your speakers or you're making um, adjustments and everything like that. Please do not have this open. You don't want XSplit. Oh, you want XSplit open because what XSplit is is doing is once you set something as a setting in XSplit, it's going to stay like that every time you open it. Now what you need to do is switch your um, default devices while XSplit isn't running. So I'm going to um, say like a, this little thing that happened to me was I had a double beep inside my game and the PC. Now what was going on was XSplit would only pick up my um, the audio Going or coming from me from the Xbox and going out through XSplit, if my um, headset that was getting that that feedback, you know the the grenades, the gunshots, whatever, um, I had that headset which was my Astro A40s as default device. Now XSplit will only broadcast what you have as a default device. Now mine right now is not my Mix Amp Pro, it is my Razer Maglodons, which are sitting in their case, I don't have them on. So, in reality, if somebody else came over, they put that headset on, they could hear everything going on in my game, just as I'm hearing everything going on in my game. So I have two different headsets that are playing the same thing. The difference is, if you have um, one headset selected, then you're going to be hearing a beep or a double sound or whatever whatever you're doing. If you're running, it's going to sound like someone's behind you. If you turn around, it's just going to be your own footsteps. If you shoot your gun, it's going to feel like someone else is shooting it, like a millisecond after you're shooting it. Okay. Um, I don't know if there's been any, a lot of threads about it, but that's a problem. And the one thing you got to do is switch to your default devices when XSplit isn't running. Okay. I've done this before. I've switched it. I've done so many things, and then I found somebody on Twitch who helped me understand that in order to switch any kind of audio device to anything different, XSplit has to be down. It cannot be running, so you can't have it just open and then you're you're dueling with your, your settings in here and, and whatnot. Um, there's a lot of threads on this, too. I'm going to come over here to this problem, which is increasing your volume in a second. But this is just to tell you guys if you're going to make a change in any kind of audio settings, Make sure XSplit is not running because um, a lot of people like to look at this here. I mean, your microphone obviously is a simple setting. It's one mic. You're talking into it. It's only picking up this and blah, 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 blah. You can hear my voice going up and down with inside here. Now, a lot of people, they're like, I'm hearing it in my headset, but I'm not seeing it here. Um, technically, XSplit is picking this up. It's just not showing like it should. There's just a little bit of a small... Like little, I don't know if you can even see that, but it's it's there, and yeah, I'm sure you guys can hear it watching this video. But what I did was I closed XSplit, and then I switched over my playback devices, which was originally my Astro Mix Amp Pro, which I have on and play Xbox through, to my um, my Razer Maglodon. So you you want your default device as something different than what you have on, and that's how to fix um, the double sound that you might be hearing from your PC and your Xbox because it takes like a millisecond to get through your PC and back into your headset. So that's how to fix that problem. And the other problem is increasing the volume on XSplit. So we're going to solve two problems in one. Um, the way you do that, uh, most people already know this, it's easy. Um, make sure that you're, you go to recording devices and you go to the one that you have as recording. That's my default device. You go to properties. You go to levels and make sure this is at 100%. Because I'm going to tell you the difference here.
watch this. I'm going to lower it to 60, and then you're barely going to hear my voice. It's going to be very soft, very different. Um, so that's to fix a lot of problems with people not hearing their voice as high and as loud as they want to. Um, you probably didn't even hear what I said just now, but um, that's how you fix that right there live on the stream. Um, you have two, two problems in one, making your audio louder. You do not have to go into um, the threads to find this out. Just listen to this video, and it'll be just fine, because the people talking in threads are just, they're smart. They're just not that smart. Um, they never considered, hey, how about you just raise your levels? No, they're like, volume booster, go into the properties and type in Mike Vol range equal 150 and just boost it up. It's just whatever. You don't need to do that. So make sure all your levels are in at 100%, and then you, sh just like every other Twitch streamer, shouldn't even have these settings all the way up in the first place. Um, but yep, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching this video. This is Red Core, uh, also known as Ready Radii.